Okay, so first off, yes, I'm very aware that this table is incredibly dirty and I apologize. But I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your wicks, maybe the wicks that you've already bought, use one wick for multiple candles. So what you're gonna need in order to do this is, uh, well, your wicks, obviously, and then you're gonna need these tabs. They come in different sizes. These ones are actually quite short. I am going to be getting ones with a longer base, I guess is what it would be called but they're 20 millimeters. Um, it, they're the same. These are the same size as the wicks that I've been buying. They have a bigger size and um, I think they also have a smaller size for like tea lights, but these work, these work really well. And then you're going to need some needle nose pliers. Um, I got these at Walmart for like six bucks, I think. And I'm going to try to finish using all of my paper wicks. These are the last paper, my, um, my sheets of wicks. These are the last ones that I have. And then I'll be able to move on to this bad boy. But for now, I'm just trying to get rid of these. The candles that we're going to be making today, sorry, um, is two 12 ounce jars, which I'm going to put over here. Two 12 ounce jars, and then um, three six ounce tins. So first, let's um, let's start off with this guy. We're gonna grab two wicks and just put these on like normal. All right, so where did it go? Here it is. I just kind of eyeball where to put it in and then press it down with the eraser of a pencil. <laughs> uh, probably not the most effective way to do it, but it works for me. Okay, so now that we've got our wicks, those are just brand new six inch wicks. I'm gonna put on this and I do it upside down. If you can see, I'm doing it um, so that this is lower in the candle because then I can cut off more of the wick and I'll show you what I mean by that. So center it, pull your wicks, and now now you're going to take your wick cutters and cut it as close, like literally, I'm gonna be holding it as close as possible on the metal, basically metal to metal, cut it off. Right there. And now we have those. So now we're gonna put new wicks in this one too. So I can show you, it kind of, it works both ways. Oh my God. You know, I'm just going to take all these lids off because we're going to need them off anyways. So, now... Center them in, in there. And then do the same thing. Go ahead and grab some of these. Just and also do these upside down. Doing these ones upside down sometimes gets wax on the bottom of them, but that's fine because you can just clean that off. All right. So now it is centered. And they're like that. And now we're going to do the same thing, cut them off at the base. So now we have two different sizes of trimmings. I'd like to have trimmings in both sides, although you don't have to, but just to show you the trimmings that were in this jar, these ones are now the perfect size for a six ounce jar. And then the trimmings that were from this six ounce jar are now the perfect size for the frosted jars. 
And your jars might be different, so try this out at home for yourself, obviously. But uh, let me just show you what we're going to do. I can go ahead and put these down. Um, obviously, I'm going to need two more trimmings, and I have two more trimmings, so I'm going to just... I'm going to just grab those. So, this is what we've got going on here. These are my annoying Wix stickers. In case you're wondering why I keep calling these Wix stickers annoying, that's why. <laughs> but, anyways, so now we're going to prep these. So you grab your tabs, two per candle, For in my case, unless you're doing just one wick per candle, then you'll save even more money. <laughs> but um, what we're going to do, let me make sure y'all can really see this. I'm going to grab one of these tabs and one of these wicks. I usually put the side that I cut it. You can kind of tell which side was cut by me because it's like flat. You can just, you can kind of see it. So what I'm gonna do, there's a little hole in these tabs. So I'm gonna put my wick into the hole and it does come out the bottom. So I use my finger, well now my nails are getting in the way, of course, to just kind of hold it like this and then grab the needle nose pliers, pinch, and voila, now we have a tiny wick that's perfect for the six ounce jars. And now I'm just gonna finish up the rest of them. So that was the wick trick. I used two wicks and one thing of trimmings from another um, frosted jar to do all of these candles. So that does save some money. It kind of doubles the amount of candles that you can do. Yeah, that's that's real quick how to how to make candles and save money on your wicks since there's a severe wick shortage right now. I hope that that was helpful to somebody. <laughs> and if you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button, that would be helping me out a whole lot. And also my Instagrams, my business and my personal are on my homepage and they're also linked below if you would like to follow me there. But um, other than that, I hope you guys are having a really great day and it's a beautiful day outside. And hold on, let me show y'all this beautiful view. Besides that, ignore that building. <laughs> I know it looks kind of crappy because it's through the window. I bet I could open the windows. I didn't even think about that. I bet I could totally open these windows. But anyways, it's really pretty out today. So I'm probably gonna get out of the house once I finish. I have one more batch of candles to do and then I'm done with my launch candles. Finally. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and as always be excellent to each other and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.